All right, we are live. Um, welcome to, I have no name for this podcast. It's not really a podcast, it's more of a, hey, this is what I'm doing today. Um, I'm with Jan of Let's Play History YouTube channel. Check it out, subscribe hey. to it. Um, first of all, I hope you're doing good, Jan. Um, yeah. We are going to play Fitna by Nuts Publishing out of uh, France, actually. Um, I've, I've been wanting to reach out to them and maybe have a, have a little chat about this uh, game in particular, but I think they have a couple, couple new ones coming out. Um, uh, some, some just came out. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Nineveh, I think. Welcome to Nineveh or something. To that effect. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. Just, mm -hmm. That just came out. I'm, I'm interested in that one too, of course, right, uh, right as I get into their other game. Um, that's the offensive in uh, Mosul, right? The, the city fighting? Yes, yes. Okay. It's kind of it's definitely a very different scale to this, but it seemed it seemed similarly well designed from a playability or approachability perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I kind of um, at any one time I tend to try to keep one de one complex game going solo play <laughs> usually, and then you know, and then I, th this this Fitna is particularly playable. I think uh, Littoral Commander is another recent one mm -hmm. that's kind of equally playable, approachable uh, would be the way to put it. Um, I think just about anybody could probably approach this any any mainstream board gamer. I think this this mm -hmm. would, this is a good gateway gateway board game drug to uh, <laughs> to more complex games. I just think that this is pretty playable. You can do it within a few hours, a couple hours really. Once you once once both sides kind of once everybody playing kind of knows. I think most most six turn games can be done in two hours ish. Mm -hmm. um, the large game I think is a little bit more towards four, three okay. to four depends on how you know depends on how quickly everybody goes. But we're gonna kind of go slow here just so we can kind of learn we can learn it. Yes. Um, we're going to be doing scenario one, which is a representation of the civil war in Syria, the early portion of it. Uh, from 2012 through 2013. Um, the two players are representing the Syrian regime and the Syrian rebels. Uh, Jan has chosen the rebels, and I will wipe out the rebel scum um, forthwith. Uh, duration is six turns, uh, which uh, together is composing a year. Uh, each turn is two months in time. That's uh, that's one thing I like about this game. First of all, as you can see, uh, it's location based for movement. Uh, for me, I think that that does well in particular, uh, for this theater of operations to mm -hmm. depict, yeah. you know, to depict the more common zones of, I mean, you wouldn't just go randomly through hexes across a desert necessarily, right? You usually, exactly. you usually would take some relatively well trodden uh roadways and or uh, pathways um so it, it, i think it depicts it pretty well um i think they got the balance of how many they depicted very well the one thing this game does extremely uh, nicely is it, it treats uh isis and uh, the kurdish rebels as uh randomly player uh played Mm -hmm. which I think is one of its better qualities. I mean, I'm sure there are other games that have something similar, maybe some sort of other natural or un, un, uh, uh, act of God type taking over. But I think, uh, no pun intended for ISIS there. But um, the, I don't know, it's good. It, it works out well, uh, especially as you get into kind of like the three player four player even up to the six player version which is pretty much which is scenario 11 and uh that's the full schmeal that's that's like theater wide conflict and it's it's very interesting i i, I do want to at some point convince convince four other people to join us for that that'd be awesome <laughs> um let's see so for starters what you would normally do is you would each person each player would in the order of the player 
designations in the scenario. So in our case, the Syrian regime and then the rebels. Mm -hmm. We would we would normally um, pick, actually go through the decks and choose cards um, directly, right? So you would know what you're coming out of the uh, mm -hmm. racing blocks with. Okay. Uh, you're welcome to do that if if you've studied the cards. I wouldn't think you've studied the cards. Before. No, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. So what I suggest is that we, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to do two draws of act, uh, assets and two mm -hmm. draws of events. All right. And here I'll show you what that looks like here. So we're doing one draw. We should have gotten one happen there. I guess two you need to uh, deal, but I can just draw one. You are correct, sir. So go ahead and just draw one. Okay. Yep. And then let us deal. Yes. The second one. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'll flip over to events and I will deal and then I will deal again. Right. So you might want to just take a look at them and make sure you didn't get anything really funky. Now, if you, if you got any that says cannot be played except by is or Kurd rebels kurdish rebels that's okay because what you got to do is you got to wait for a card that will let you play them right so you don't necessarily have to tell me what you got um if you want to play this openly we can would you prefer um yeah why not i think for learning purposes that might be yeah so be here good. what i'll do is i'll just take my cards up here for um, right i'll just kind of pull them out in front of my flag here um so just to kind of give everybody an idea of what's going on here um you have some choices in your turn uh so let's go over the sequence of play all right so the first thing you normally would do is you would play one several or no event cards right mm -hmm. um the first phase this event phase is also when you place reinforcements and or replacements that you brought up from your previous phase from your previous turn that's a you gotta get kind of used to that those the the replacements and the reinforcements are not immediate Okay. So what you normally would do is later, there's a later, um, once you're, uh, I th think it's an, uh, um, let's see. Hold on. I think we might, might need to get the card back and shuffle them because we have drawn them basically in order, which means we have the same, same sets. No, cards one to four. No, we don't. I don't see. We we happen to get leadership, but I don't see the other ones. There's not that many different types of cards. Or did you get the exact ones? No, you didn't get the exact ones. No, we just uh, didn't. We draw them in in order. I oh, know the events probably not. Okay, but the other ones. Anyway, let's continue. Speaking of shuffling, um, well, I'm glad you brought that up because what happens is if you look down here at the turn track which is right here. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're on turn one. Once you get to these asterisk turns, you take all of the... Uh-oh, I just froze for a second, sorry. Um, so once you get to these asterisk turns, you shuffle back in the discarded mm -hmm. uh, card into the deck and shuffle the deck, so... All right. um, but you're right. When we first do it, we probably should have, we probably should have just shuffled, drawn, shuffled, drawn, shuffled, drawn. But if you want, we can do that if you want. If you no, it's all right. Let's just okay. just for this one. So mm -hmm. next, for the next go around, we'll we'll shuffle it up a little bit. Um, or for the next draw, let's see what I need. What else we need to go over for setup? I'm just looking to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, Okay, so as far as reinforcements and replacements, let's see what they have given you and we'll concentrate on talking about that. So over here, you 
have the Free Syrian Army, which of course is the rebel army. You also have replacements of Turkish units, mm -hmm. which we'll have to read the scenario a little closer. Do you have any Turkish units in play at the beginning? No. Uh, it, it least says that I will use the Turkish force pool. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look closely at the special rules here in a moment. Um, sure. The other cool thing about how this is done, in particular how whoever created this module was, was, was intelligent in that they, they did, you know, based on where you're sitting, they did turn it to the, which, which units are yours. So if you ever have a problem, that's the, that's the main thing about this game. And actually it was designed to try to teach you about some of these factions. I, I personally didn't know about some of these factions. Mm -hmm. um, but in your case, you are in control of the Sunni militia. Here, let me get a pointer so I can tell you what I'm talking yep. to. So mm -hmm. here you have a uh, militia in Hama and it, 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 uh, mm -hmm. you have uh, PYD rebels in Afrin. Uh, Al Sham militia in Jarabulus. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you have PYD in Kobane, uh, and uh, uh, Kamishui, Malikia. So, mm -hmm. all these basically everything that's uh, face up or top up is, is yours, mm -hmm. um, except for ISIS. Uh, ISIS is under random control. Based on event cards, and we'll see that happen oh, here in a little bit. That's a that's a great solution for the for the faction. Yeah, and that's, you don't really yeah, want to have a player have agency as as dash. Uh, right, and uh, it's uh, the way I've described it elsewhere is the Uno factor, right? The uh, <laughs> oh yeah, well here's ISIS up your up your rear, <laughs> mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. which is basically pretty historically accurate. Yep. Uh, so let's... okay, I did just check uh, for the for the reinforcement pool of the rebels. The Turkish intervention force can come in as an event. Event, yeah, that's what I was trying to look for. That's that's mm. another thing you got to kind of get used to in this. Yeah. Um, the one thing I definitely suggest is that if you plan to play it, plan ahead the scenario you're going to use so that you can go in and read the special rules. Let's go. Let's let's read out the special rules for this one as well. I'll just read them out. Uh, the international tension rules do not apply. There are no special Joker cards. Uh, IS and Kurdish Peshmerga units have limited supports, and that's a special rule 8.1. We'll look at that here in a moment. Uh, since Turkey has offered support to the rebels, the rebel player may use any of the following support cards, 1 through 2, 3 through 4, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anything that, anything that, there, I'm sure the card probably even mentions it as well. It's one to two, three to four, five to six, nine to 11, mm -hmm. seven to 18, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think I gave you an image of this. Um, rebel reinforcements are placed in Syria on spaces that are friendly controlled or free of any presence. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing when I first played this, you got kind of used to. I think uh, most, um, most of the scenarios have very specific special rules, quotation marks, mm -hmm. where things where things show up. Um, there's also a note here in the scenario for which cards were removed uh, from a, from either deck, and thankfully the module maker did that for me because I'm horrible <laughs> at doing that. So before we start, let's just take a look at the victory conditions. I don't know if you have the uh, the image of the scenario here too. Um, yes. Spaces controlled by the Kurds or IS do not count for either player. So that's interesting in and of itself, right? In, in, in effect, you could use either or both to reduce the number of the other players' control, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hint, hint. All right, so Syrian player um, holds the initiative, supported by Russia and Iran. Uh, prerequisite, control of Damascus, Tardis, Lata Latakia, and Aleppo. Uh, minor victory if I control 13 spaces in Syria. Uh, let's say, uh, and then a couple other, there's obviously more spaces in Syria to, um, 
to win. Uh, decisive victories eliminate all Rebel and I and IS units and control 18 <laughs> spaces this year. If I can do that, then I will have changed history ridic ridiculously. All right, so for yourself, so you are supported by Turkey, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, minor victory if you control six spaces in Syria. Um, so we'll, we'll stick with that. If I can keep you from doing that, at least you don't have any mm -hmm. victory. But, and then, of course, it gets progressively more. Uh, the, the highest one of that is decisive in which you control eight spaces, including Aleppo and Damascus. And that's pretty considerable. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be an interesting historical change. Um, set up. I think we were all set up. The module took care of that. Uh, let's talk about your reinforcements just so we are on the same page. Is yeah, I have uh, adjusted that one thing because the the mech division is a uh, reinforcement first batch and the other units seem to be then part of the event. You are correct. Um, so the first batch is one freeze from one FSA mech 464, which you've done here, as you can see. Yep. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about what the numbers mean here in just one moment. I'll try mm -hmm. to speed up. Sure. Your Turkish intervention force, when card 74 is played as an event, uh, first mech brigade, first mechanized brigade, fifth armored brigade, and sixth corps. Um, I'm assuming that's all three of these here. Those come in as replacements. And I'm assuming that's an event card, and then that's why they line that up on the event phase. I don't, uh, mm -hmm. I was kind of. I was going to talk about that before, but um, yeah, I don't know why that was confusing in my head, but it should—it just lines up with an event, the event being pulled. So, it's, so, that, so it is immediate. So you just—if you play your events during that event phase anyway, so that then your reinforcements come on right there in that okay. phase. Okay. I thought there was a delay, but no, there isn't. Um, I think that's it as far as. It doesn't look like we have. It doesn't look like Syria has. Reinforcements. Let's see if that's that is correct. So there's no reinforcements, and then basically every basically Syria has put everything on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's an all or nothing move by uh, uh, the leader to wipe out the rebellion, um, re uh, the rebel scum that they are. All right. So as units get uh, eliminated, they're placed in the replacements pool just just yeah in other words don't delete the don't delete the counters put them into the re, uh, replacements mm -hmm. area um as a matter of fact yeah you might you want to kind of be careful of probably moving these guys like on their own here or something like that Wh whatever makes sense for you yep. all right so that's all that let us begin so it would be Syria's first play we are in the events phase uh, I'm the active player here so I have some choices um, I can if I don't play these cards I can use their upper right hand number for ops points okay mm -hmm. And that's done in phase three, the planning phase. Uh, so it's interesting because you, you know, you got to play around with that. The the alternative to using the number for ops points is to use the uh, strategic depots movement rule, which is section eleven in the rules. In which case, you can always move two units and launch one offensive in a turn for free basically right mm -hmm, okay um you know if you're not really just the the strategic hint there is if you're not really in the mood or need of a major offensive then you probably would opt for that right um, if if you needed to move it move a considerable amount of units in this turn slash phase um ahead of ahead of further offensive down the road a couple months later then Mm -hmm. You may want the ops points. Um, now, the uh, the movement factor is two for one. So every that's kind of why for free you get two moves. Uh, for every ops point that you spend, you can move uh, uh, two units, right? 
And then okay. when that unit when that unit moves, that's that they you use the furthest right number on the token on the counter. Mm -hmm. uh, any armored uh, divisions primarily uh, might have a red uh, number. Yep. What what that means is that you're able to do a breakthrough move, which honestly is a that's a little bit of a misnomer because it is a breakthrough but it's like it's kind of like a breakover it's kind of like a free move if you can still make it so in other <laughs> words if you uh if for some reason we had taken out this this stack right and we wanted to yeah. move here we could move only the armored units here so like again here i'll just do it as an example let's mm -hmm. just say I took, I took out all these guys i'm here i could move uh Anybody who has a red, I could do a basically a free move. Extra okay. move. Yep. It's like a free Got extra it. move. Mm -hmm. But you still, but the, um, yeah, here. Uh, by the way, there's a sticky. See that? Yep. Yep. That's cool. Whoever did this module, I don't know. Hopefully you're watching this. Uh, thank you. Because <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. It's, yeah, one that's best, great. Like, it's one of the best I've ever used. All right. So I'm going to go look at let's i'm just i'm not going to use much strategy here see that's my excuse for not having any strategy uh, <laughs> is, let's see israeli lebanese war okay do you have any lebanese hezbollah out there your, yeah that'll be here right yeah um you know what i might what the hell? Okay, cannot be. Oh shoot! Right. Yep. So, it, <laughs> so it cannot be played on turn one. This one cannot be played on turn one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can't play either of them on turn one. Uh, so I have really no events I can do. Um, so that's that's phase one. Uh, phase two is checking supply, and that's pretty straightforward. Let us look at that in the rules just to be sure in particular where we we gain our supply from we might as well take the time to look at it all right let's see where are you there that's not where it is planning 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 no of course they probably did it in order that was smarter than them okay here we go uh, free syrian army and sunni and al Shah militias deployed in syria must be supplied from turkey or jordan so that's probably something you want to write down somewhere. Uh, units of this kind deployed in Tripoli, Lebanon, are always supplied. So if you happen to have FSA in uh, in Lebanon, then you're always supplied. So that's kind of like something to keep keep in mind later. Right? Okay. Let's see. Can I enter Lebanon though? Didn't the the rules say I can only move in Syria? Let me double check. Right. I think it's more of a if you can get it. It's more of a if you can get them there. You get you basically get local support is ultimately what they're saying there. Where are you, Tripoli? Um. So basically, if you can get within the confines of Lebanon. All right. Okay. Only the two spaces are okay. Got it. You can only enter these two spaces, which have the Hezbollah units. Yes, exactly. And those are those are my own, right? So <laughs> thank you for mentioning that because I don't want to use this card because it's my own guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so I just wanted to point that out. Is that would be obviously a reason why you can, oh, uh, another thing is you cannot just get rid of a card. You have to use it for something. So okay. if you mm -hmm. need to get rid of a card, you have to get rid of it for its ops, for example. Yep. So that kind of, um, so that's a situation where that obviously would be the case. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So my choice then, okay, we're, we're in supply. Um, I wanted to just check Syria. Yeah, supply wise, um, have units here isolated? Oh, uh, yeah. No, anything so. that anything that starts isolated or, or uh, continues to be isolated, they um, 
they suffer a minus two. Um, let's see. I think also they have a movement issue too. Give me one second. I'm gonna look up isolated. Can they ever be eliminated? The isolation marker. Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. The the unit that is isolated by lack of supply. No, no, but. Honestly, the game takes care of that because of the ships. You're probably going to be eliminated anyway if you stay isolated. Mm -hmm. um, sure. okay. What it does is, uh, I know. I mean, let me get the rule in front of me just so I can. Just every single time I try to find a rule, I can't find it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Supply. Here we go. Out of supply effects. Isolated units only have two movement points. That's what I thought. Okay. No matter their type. Okay. They fight with a two column shift in both attack and defense. They also cannot mm -hmm. take. This is another caveat. They cannot take replacements. Tank mm -hmm. units may not use exploitation as well. Reinforcements mm -hmm. cannot arrive in in the isolated space either so yeah, even though it's sense. considered control, yeah when a when a uh, here's how you get out of it when a friendly supplied unit stacks with a previously unsupplied unit the latter is immediately in supply so just because you become unsurrounded if you will mm -hmm. you're not automatically supplied you have to have a friendly unit that is supplied coming mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. bring you supplies or logistics so that's kind of interesting all right um any questions before I start my movements and so forth? Uh, no, let's just go ahead. Okay, so now we are in planning, third stage. Um, I will go ahead and just to kind of get rid of it more than anything, I'm going to go ahead and burn this for its six mm -hmm. point ops points, all right? Okay. I will just... Card this, my game just froze. I will discard this under events played. Okay. And so I have six points. Now, what we did before is we brought in a counter. Let me bring in a counter for both of us real quick. <clears throat> Mark them. Yeah. Maybe actually. Be uh, I mean, there's probably other ways. There's probably other ways to do this potentially, but. This is the way I did it before. And what we did is for uh, what you need to do is say how many you're going to use for offenses and how many you're going to use for movement. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, we kind of do it this way. Uh, we'll use the black counter marker counters for movement and we'll use red for the combat, just for whatever color blood or whatever. Okay. So here's your counters here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, if you have a preferred method on how to do that, I mean, you could probably just use go, go marbles, probably, yeah, would be probably. Really good, but all right. So I've spent six, uh, let's see how much am I going to move? I got to look at how much I got stacked over here. Um, uh, just for let's put, start with three and three. So three on move will actually allow me to do six units i think this is fine mm -hmm. um seems reasonable all right so this guy is not really under so we're gonna move all right another thing to keep in mind is that the stacking is limit the stack limit is three you can go over that limit while you're moving but you cannot end your movement and go mm -hmm. beyond that Right. Okay. The the uh the one player that can go above that limit is I ISIS, and they mm -hmm. can go to stack of four. And the reason that they can do that is because they're actually only a one step unit. Once you once you take a step of damage as IS, uh, the token is eliminated and put back into the ISIS pool. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's move some things. I can I have up to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double this for now, just to to designate that's how many movement, how many units I get to move. Right. Yep. I'm moving this unit. Going to go ahead and move it 
four, I can actually do one, two, three, like that. You see what I did? Yes. There is no zone of control. Uh, these are large areas, right? Um, mm -hmm. And two month movements and so forth. So, Does so rain yeah. have impact on movement rates? Uh, you mean, I'm sorry, weather? Uh, terrain. So let's say oh, terrain, you move terrain. through, through no, city here. No, that's a good, no. Uh, you know, quite honestly, that, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I, I, I like that. That even could be, I, I, I don't think there's an optional rule for that. Let me look. Uh, you didn't read that anywhere, did you? I don't think that's no. in the, the that's like, that wouldn't be the worst house rule, right? Because you know, yeah, that, that's interesting. But no, I don't think that that has anything to do with it. Um, just to be sure, you didn't think you read that, right? No, no, it was just okay. uh, it make it, it would make sense. Normal movement, okay, okay. Here it is. It actually says it right here. The type of terrain does not affect movement. Uh, all movement must be completed before turning to the combat segment. Uh, stacking limits apply only at the end of the movement, not during. Isolated units all have a movement allowance of two, no matter regardless of type. Okay, so that's, that is section 17.1 if you want to reference it. Okay. All right. So, um, so I am, that was one. All right. So let's see what else I want to move. I might not even use it all. Oh, wow. You got SUNY. What are these guys here? Yeah, rebels. Oh, uh, these this is Saudi. These are Saudi rebels. These are Saudi militia or Sunni militia here. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Okay. So I'm I'm stacked here anyway. All right. I'm kind of ooh, yeah, isolated units here. These are mine. These are. Yeah, and I have one here or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another thing about this, uh, at least when you're physically playing it, and I guess virtually as well, um, I'm not supposed to look at your stack. So what you would normally do, of course, is probably put your weakest unit on top, which mm -hmm. okay, kind of like interesting, over, right? Oh. Yes, that is a fog of war thing. You're not allowed to use yes. like a very specific rule, um, which is kind of cool. And then of course mm -hmm. over here, ISIS, you have no idea what they are because they're flipping. Mm -hmm. You have to actually flip them over. To find out what, yeah. how much, and there's a couple. Uh, I'll just warn everybody: there are some powerful units in there. Okay, mm -hmm. um, especially the leaders' unit. <clears throat> okay, so that was that. Do I want to move anything else? Um, these are actually what two or three. All right, these are relatively powerful. Um. Wait, these are mine. Okay, oh, I'm not that. I'm sorry, I'm messing up. All right, so this guy's. Well, yeah, that's why he's isolated, right? That makes sense. Um, probably want to pull up. There's three there. Oh no, there's only two. So I'll move another. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to. I don't think I can operate with Hezbollah. Uh, let me think about that. Can I? Can I? I should be able to stack it. Let me see something real quick. Stacking is the ability to play to stack into three military units of sea space. It says you control oh, them. Some okay. So in stacking 4.0. Some scenarios forbid stacking of certain units. For example, Iranian and Russian. But let's just see if there's any stacking special rules. I don't see any. Okay, Kurdish units in Iraq, PDK, and Turkey, PKK, are not represented. The Kurdish units of the PYD in Syria and IS are activated by event cards. So by the way, the PYD is activated by events only. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you have these PYDs. Okay. Cool. Uh, the other thing, the players use only the north part of the map and play is confined to Syria. They may not enter another country with the exception of two spaces in 
Akka and Babak in Lebanon, which units of the Lebanese Hezbollah may move into. Hmm. The rebel player uses the Turkish force. Okay, I don't see anything that tells me. What I'm trying to do is, what I'm trying to consider is whether or not I should move. Yeah, but I don't want to move in there anyway. Hmm. Of the Syrian down. army through Lebanon. Yeah. Well, I mean, there isn't really yeah. a reason why why you wanted to do that because you cannot go through Tripoli. So. Oh, you know what? I can't go. I can't go into here anyway. Okay, so that kind of that kind of answers my question anyway. I couldn't. I couldn't do like like if I really mm -hmm, wanted to, mm -hmm. I couldn't do this. You know what I mean? I, I can't do that anyway because I'm not allowed to go in there. They're yes. the only ones that are allowed in there. Right. Okay, so whatever. I blew I blew off points to get rid of that car. I really wanted. <laughs> uh, so blah 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 blah. If I had moved everybody, then blah 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 blah. And then I can mm -hmm. do offenses. I can do three offenses. And that means attacking adjacent uh, places. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, what the hell? Well, and is there a modifier? I mean, we obviously we haven't tracked that, so I assume there's not for units that have just moved. Are they worse no. in combat? No, no, because of the scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah got it. Time scale mm -hmm. more than anything, probably right. I mean, what yeah. it's depicting, it's depicting operational moves, and then mm -hmm. you know, yeah, sure. that, that's why. That's also why they, I think, they enforce that everybody has to move before you get into the combat phase too. So. So okay, we're done yeah. with planning, we're done with movement, we're on to phase five, which is offenses. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can pop these guys out of here. Yeah. Um, so I will attack with this mega unit. Okay. Don't worry, watch out, because this can always go horribly wrong. <laughs> um let's see i think yeah the isolated unit is going to be neg two as well on their defense so um what you do uh the first number is the offensive number so let's, mm -hmm. let's count those up here uh so we got uh 14 16 we got 16 from this this syrian mega army uh your defense is four minus two for being isolated Mm -hmm. So obviously a good move to try to just take out isolated units if you yeah. can. Uh, so for, da, 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 da. That's we're, now we're, we're on the 12 column, right? Agree. Um, yep. So we, we go down to the CRT, which I will use here. Um, we're looking at the, we start at the 12 column. All right, so now we you now you do the column shifts. Uh, I think what was confusing some players I was originally playing with is is the the, the modifier is always a column shift, right? Mm -hmm. So we okay. started we we computed all the offensive points versus the defensive points, and now we're here. What I like mm -hmm. about this game is that it's not ratio based. I don't. I kind of <laughs> it's very yeah. easy to figure out where you're at. So we're on this column. Um, we have a two column shift for your defense so we're actually way over here okay um, and as far as i know there are no other combat shifts we can kind of we can look at this column shift area just to be sure right here um let's just read that for this first time uh so the active player adjusts the column uh to resolve the offensive the offense a space's intrinsic defense value is a one or two column shift to the left in favor of the defender. Uh, entrenchment is a column shift also to the left. It's in addition, so it combines with that. So you can have upwards of three shifts, which is pretty good. Uh, so obviously, if you want to be in a very defensive position, you try to find a place that has good defensive value and, and you use combat engineers to uh, entrench the, mm -hmm. the location. Uh, asset cards, which we'll see here in a moment. Let's see if that's another thing we definitely should have checked. And this goes both ways. So you you are able to play assets, and I am as well. Now, I will play my leadership. You also have a leadership, which you could burn now, or you can hold it. I will hold it because it doesn't make any sense if we are already that far up. I 
Well, right. And, and honestly, I don't even, I shouldn't even use it. Um, so whatever, I'm just using it really just whatever, just for. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Um, so we're here because you're, you know, well, I'm not going to use that. So, uh, all right. So normally that would shift. If I wanted to, I could use any of my assets uh, and use it to shift. Yes. Oh, interesting. Combat engineers also. Oh, this is a dual purpose card. I forgot about that. Combat engineers, you can actually use it during the event the event segment and the active player can place two entrenchments. I probably should have done that. Um, the leadership, of course, would have allowed me to shift, but I can't shift any higher. All right. So then I roll. Uh, we have this nifty, swifty uh, dice rolling power here. Let's see what I get. Three. Uh, so we look at the three on this table. We have a DR asterisk. The DR asterisk. Defender retreats with heavy losses. The defending force suffers two step losses, can be split amongst two units, and withdraws to a friendly space. The attack, the attacker suffers one step loss, but gains control of the space. Okay. His armored units then can do a breakthrough if I want. Mm -hmm. so let's mm -hmm. see what we got here. I don't know if the breakthrough is going to work. So, uh, right now you were isolated, and as far as I can tell, you're eliminated because. Mm -hmm. So right now, both of these would pro you would probably flip both of these, right? Right. Okay, so we're gonna flip those so they're and if you ever question which part it is that you see this little lighter mm -hmm. band behind them, that that's that just kind of a visual cue as to that we're using the flip. Yep. So take a look. I you can't go anywhere because you're isolated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there's no friendly adjacent unit. Uh, so location. so these guys are let's flip them back and you put these into your associated replacements stack somewhere. Yeah, there's anywhere there's fine, yeah. And then this goes back into the. I guess here into the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh. what they say? They said I had to do this, and then mm -hmm. any, any armored, any yeah, armored tanks could... could move. They could, and also isolated is not. Yes, I can do that. I can move it here. As and now they are resupplied again, aren't they? Correct. Very good point. Uh, you are correct, sir. Uh, so now, now, not only are they not isolated, but they were resupplied by that move. So that's cool. That would be a, that would be a perfect example of why you would try to because you're breaking through uh, with the logistical supplies. And so. so that was good. From uh, one thing I don't remember, and I don't know if you saw it. I need to look this up. The L, I, I can't remember what the L stood for on the counter. I kind of, we, we kind of want to, this is like the one rule I could not find, but uh, it's a very specific thing. I just want to make sure it's not like keeps me from being right here or something weird. Um, let me just eyeball real quick just to see if I see it. I don't see it on the combat unit values description or the counters level. Um, I just I feel like we've covered almost every other rule pretty well. I just don't want to leave something hanging here. So L L L L L. Another thing that I didn't touch upon, which I probably should before you start, is that you each side normally has a joker mm -hmm. and i think in this scenario we might oh yes okay so i would get the syrian joker where is the syrian joker where is this odd space uh let's see uh are they in play though let me go check no right right here there are little tokens here and i'll, I'll explain it what it does is it allows you, and let's see, the Rebels, the Rebels get the Turkish Joker, um, which is right here, basically. Okay, so the token is, is something different than the Joker card, right? Because the uh, scenario correct. says there are no Joker cards. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the uh, the card Joker is what they call a special Joker, mm -hmm. and that has its own that has its own meanings. It's usually mm -hmm. like a pretty it's usually a pretty significant um, offensive. Like it's it's usually for like it, it it's it's predominantly for the main powers. It's for like Russia and the U.S. for in the larger scenarios. All right. Uh, to do like it signifies larger events, and what's interesting is that in a teaching perspective, right? The way to describe it in the rules is that it's it's a tension. It's kind of like a, an intrinsic tension, right? You don't know when that you don't know when that player is going to do its big move, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so it's interesting. Some of the larger scenarios get quite interesting. What's really cool about this game is that if you if you went all the way through all these scenarios, it, it goes through the history pretty damn well, mm -hmm. um, I think. So it's a really cool tool, I think, historic history tool. This Do you know if there are cool. any any add-ons, uh, expansions planned? <clears throat> I haven't heard of any, and that's kind of what I, I, I'd like to reach out to them, uh, to Pierre Razou, um, and see if he's planning on an additional. I would love to see. Heck, I'd even love to see a Ukraine version of the, you know, just any, mm. any type of, because the rules are really sound. And I think mm -hmm. he used it, um, he used it for, let me see if there's a player note in here. Um, let me see if there's a designer note. I think there's a designer note back here. Oh, yeah. Uh, he had designed this one based on his experience with his previous war game, uh, Bloody Dawns, the Iran-Iraq War by mm -hmm. High Flame games i need to check that one out because so that would be probably it, it that's that's it's similar i don't i think there are additional adjustments here in fitna so i would think that probably if we ever got a hold of bloody dawns it would probably play similarly but i'd love to see him expand this even into a near future no yeah. um, it definitely i i don't think this would do as well in like indo pack you know i i, mm. I it, it kind of needs to be a factional, yes. maybe Afghanistan, Afghanistan probably mm -hmm. uh, would be good, I think. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, sorry, I'm uh, digressing. <laughs> so, right. so that was my usual. All right. So, all right. So that was one, one offensive. Yes. Uh, let's, let's try and knock out a couple quick. Uh, what's kind of cool is. what i could do is even like how i broke through there i can actually still use that unit you know what the hell let's try that yeah what the hell let's try it let's try to knock you out in the maw all right so i'm going to commit all oops okay so here's an interesting thought um, why why can you use the unit again? You can. You can use it as many times as you want. You can actually do multiple offenses in the same zone too. So, like if I was, if I had been unsuccessful, I could actually have committed another offense. You know what I didn't do? I didn't take a step loss. Let me take a step on. I think I was supposed to have taken a step, right? Mm, yeah. Right. All right. So I just took that on that. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. Now here's the question, though, from a from a potential. Uh, yeah, I might have to do that, and then I might have to attack here. Look, just to kind of watch my ass here. Um, so there's there's thoughts here, right? Because I I can't leave this <laughs> open necessarily for an attack from here. At this point, though, you're isolated, aren't you? This guy's isolated. So we wouldn't true, check. Yes. We wouldn't check that though until you're until your supply check mm -hmm. okay. in your turn okay all right so let's okay my question here is whether or not i should commit all three because what happens is, is if i commit all three then they all three have to move into that space mm -hmm. which is, open. is there anything um oh you know what we didn't do we didn't need oh this wasn't this wasn't the original spot right this was okay Yes. Um, what I saw was this negative one. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any negative here? 
Let's check that before we start this. There's a minus one in there, I think. Yeah, there is. Okay. This is where things get a little weird. I think I don't know. Um, the module has the the uh, stack exploder. I'm not sure. Are you able to see the exploding stack if I use that? Let me that's let me easy. try that. That's too okay. easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if you can figure that out, I don't know. Is there a button for that? Yeah. Is let it, me let me do all? that. I will explode. Can you see that? How did you do that? Okay, repack it. What did you do? Was it like a little okay, button I on there? Repack. You go right click and then explode stack. Yeah. You can even cool. automatically apparently send replacements there. Okay. Which cool. is cool. Awesome. This is why I invite you to these things, Gal. Did you figure out stuff that I never even knew? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So this is an interesting one. Uh, you got a pretty you know, you got a reasonable amount of defense here. Uh, militia tends to have a reasonable defense because they're obviously you know, guerrilla style warfare. Ooh, this isn't as this isn't as cut and dry. Now it is nice that it is nice that we had pushed. I can't remember which one we had pushed. If it was the fourth division or not, because they have a pretty damn good offensive mm -hmm. power. Um, all right, so let's look at this. So the offense is 10, 13, and your defense is nine. Uh, so we are at four difference, which is not that. I know I'm at six defense. Um, three is the movement. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, I can't count. All right. So, so you're right, 13 minus points. the one, I guess. Or is that also a, a shift, the minus one? Well, we do that. Yeah, we do that after as a shift. So we're at a okay. column. If we check my math on that 10, 13 minus six, we're on the seven. seven. All right, so we are on the five to seven column, which is not not wonderful. And then just as you just pointed out, we have a neg one shift, which is actually a plus one column, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we're on, oops, no, I'm sorry. It goes here, you're right, uh, left shift here. Yep. And, and is there anything else? Is there entrenchment? No. What, no. Now, we, now we do asset cards and they're in the rules, it is explicitly stated that the defender gets to play asset cards first. They have you have to play any asset cards okay. you want. Hey, well, I probably want to do that. And you can do multiple unless it says otherwise. Okay, so if you were see. to use that during combat, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Attack defense. Attack defense. Uh, I guess I will take the leadership. Yeah. And then oh, that's, I mean, that's not an it. asset card, or is it? it yeah, is. these red ones are assets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you uh, if you mouse over it, it also says. Display. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you can do one or or both. I think you, you, I don't think there's any reason you can't stack them. Uh, you and just keep in mind, you wouldn't know what I had, but right, right, right. Um, no, I think one why, should. Be good. This is why the defense is forced to do it first. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Mm -hmm. touch of fog of war. I would just use the two column shifts to the left. Okay, so where we're at, we were at here. We're going to go two and go right. But five, then minus one and two. Let, is me, uh, yeah. let me grab a go marble real quick. Give me a second. Yeah. And then I'll shrink it just a little. We'll put it on where we're at. So I think we're on this column now. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. So then, so you've done all your cards, right? Right. Uh, at this point, I will, let's see, how desperate do I want this to be successful? Um, what the hell? I'll put both. Um, but then this is my, is this my second assault? Yes. This is my second of three. So I do have one more offense. That I can do, but I'm gonna go. Ahead. Mm. I, yeah, what the hell? I'll spend it all. Okay, so that goes four this way. One, two, three. We're back up to plus eight, ten, which right. still isn't. It isn't perfect. Oop. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, um, we roll. Um, what's interesting is I get to adjust my cards, and then you don't get to adjust your cards until ooh, that's rough. What? Why? Why is that? You can't adjust your because, cards. No, meaning meaning that I go back up to four cards in my adjust cards phase in my active player, right? Ah, okay, then, yeah, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So then, let's see, the active player draws cards. Are good, 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 good. If you already have one of them, of course, okay, so that's it. So then, it, then it moves to you. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. So like the defense, mm -hmm. the defense, you did right. I, I think you did the right mm -hmm. thing because you need to keep yours for your for yourself. No, no. It's also that also kind of gives the initial initiative, you know, scenario sense to the person that's doing the major offensive mm -hmm. first. Right, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Um, but equally, the third player would be doing the, or in your case, you're the second player. You're going to be doing the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just sure. I get to do it first. Yep. All right. So let's do the dice roll because I don't think there's anything else. For, right. Yeah. Right. We will dice tower at first suspense. And we're five. Eve. What's that? It's good for you. Defend our retreats. Ender loses one step from one of his units and withdraws to a friendly control adjacent space. The attacker gains control with all his engaged units. Army units may exploit. At least I don't lose anything, but you only lose one. So go okay, ahead. I flip one. Yeah, and then where can you go? Yeah, right there. I can but only go you here. Stack. You can't do overstacking. You know? At that point, I think. Oh, okay, so I. When units do I have in there? I lose the. Uh, Two. Three. So I can move one in there, then I have yeah. three, and the other two are destroyed. I think so. All right. And then what's interesting is that one of my units, either of these units, or is in fact both of them, both of them could go. I might just send how many? Oh, that's a stack limit. All right. So. Okay, so I would hide my, I'd hide my power with my mm -hmm. unsuspecting militia. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new band name, the unsuspecting militia. All right, this is not stacking very well. You know, maybe it doesn't work with the with the flipped counters or whatever. <clears throat> okay, good. Uh, so I think there's one more offensive. Yes. Uh, my thing is okay. So this is kind of the fog of war. I have no idea what's under that, right? I mean, I can kind of, I can kind of guess that it, you never know, right? That that's the mm -hmm. cool thing. You could hide. You could be hiding an armored brigade, and I wouldn't know it necessarily. Um, screw it. <laughs> when when in when in beer basine. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, it's, oh, it's, so. it's not quite. Okay, so. It's four, there's no modifier. <clears throat> no modifier. Okay, so it's okay, seven. Is three, so seven, four, so we're on the three column. Um, I've basically already expended my assets here. I don't have any cards that'll help me, so that's kind of kind of blew my blew my cards in the last one. Mm -hmm. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of rolling the dice here, literally. Do you have any defensive cards? I, um, I don't think I want to play it. Uh, it depends on how how much you want these to succeed, and and where would they go? They would. I you would have to go to friendly control space. Yeah, this this technically this right here. Mm -hmm. Another thing is we need a control marker. Do we have control markers here? Do they have? Do they have? Uh, 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 I might be able to use. A, I might be able to copy the Joker. Maybe. I might just copy the Joker because what I want to show. I'm going to do this just for visual sake. Technically, Syria. Uh, technically, Syria still controls this. I don't know if you can. Re 
I don't know what I, I need to look up the rule on this right here because technically we came through here, right? Mm -hmm. So we gained control. I need to look at the retreat. I need to look at the retreat rule to see. If you I mean, the here on the sheet, it, it specifically says withdraws to a friendly controlled space. So even if there is, even if you wouldn't control it anymore, it wouldn't be a friendly controlled space. I think you're right. Um, and then this would not be either. I don't think they say, I think they say you cannot use. I, think, cannot I cannot leave there. Syria. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever. Hey, at least it goes. The cool thing is at least it goes to your reinforcement pool <laughs> or your replacement pool. <laughs> Hey, whatever you know. Uh, there's a there's a silver lining in all in all that here apparently. All right, um, but it's not it's not guaranteed here, right? So, uh, what are the, the, the chances here? Okay, uh, so one third. I think this question still is whether or not you want to burn a card. Five six. We are on. Yeah, the question also is what could I reasonably do in my turn? Right, I don't think I can. The counter attack anywhere, so let me use the combat engineers. Okay, give it a, another shift of two. Okay, so hold on, just check my math though. I'm, I'm starting on the plus five, is that correct? Uh, let me see. We had two, four, and you have seven, right. so three. Seven. Hold on a second, it's nine. I thought it's six and three. Uh, you are oh, attacking, so it's four. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm looking at the wrong one. So you start at plus three. Correct. Here, and then I shifted with the combat yep. engineers. All right, so this is not, this might go badly. Mm -hmm. I need to probably, I need to get a six, basically, is what I'm looking for. All right, so let's see what happens. I will use the dice tower to be as. Oops. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, very <laughs> close. Almost. <laughs> All right, so e, e X with losses. an asterisk. Exchange with heavy losses. The attacker and defender each lose two steps. Whoa. Um, so, again, so the assumption is that you would do split it, and then yes. the assumption is that I would probably... And you move back to... Take, take this Basin. So that was price pricey. Quite I, that was kind of well stupid of me, right? Because yeah, I overextended myself there. All right. So then this guy is still less power. You got one guy. You just got the one guy. Or you got both. Oh, you got both guys here. Mm -hmm. You weren't you weren't eliminated, so I don't take over the spot either. Okay. Yes. Um. I guess I now you. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, so at this point, I do. So this is kind of neat. I can do a strategic move, which is going to be me taking one of these guys over. I think I will move him here. Okay, okay so That's just here. to explain that to the viewers, that means yep. you can move one single supplied unit in a friendly controlled space to another friendly controlled and supplied space, even if the unit has already been moved. Or, or has fought during combat phase, which is what just happened. Mm -hmm. So that was like a strategic move to reinforce, which okay. is kind of neat. I like that. I don't, there aren't that many rules that do that. Yep. It's, like, it's a little gimme. Uh, everybody gets it. And I don't think there's... I don't know if an, I don't know if you can do that towards an isolated unit, though. Um, just for giggles, let me look that up. <clears throat> in other words, I don't know if I can move do that surgery so move on to an isolated unit. I don't see any reason why not. They cannot take any replacements. Tank units when that reinforcements cannot arrive. Yeah, it's the strategy. It doesn't say anything about strategic moves for the out spot. All right, cool. Yeah, but uh, on on the on the sheet it says you need to move into a supplied space. Oh. Well, there you go. Thank you, Jan, for the win there. Very good. Uh, all right, so it is your. We're back to uh, the event phase for you. Uh, yeah, you draw cards, right, to fill up your hand, and then you are correct. Uh, adjust cards, so I get to draw either. Well, it's kind of was really cool. 
is I can pick whatever I want. If I want like an event heavy thing, I could, let's see, I'm gonna just take one of these. Um, oh, cool, I get the first word I got, yeah. Now I could screw your, I could screw you in the rear there. <laughs> okay, uh, wow, that, that's right. not good. All right, so let's see, I, I got one there. Do this, my name is Bond. Oh, this is an awesome card. <laughs> uh, oh, what happened? Three column shifts. Oh god. Wait, hold on. I took the wrong okay. Hold on. I took the whole damn deck. Uh let's see. Oh, okay. I don't get the damn bottom. Let me flip it. Let me flip the deck, take the top, and then hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flip the deck. Take the top. Flip that. That was my original card. Oop. What is it? Truck bomb. No, it didn't do it again. It did the damn thing. How many cards are there there? The one? Yeah, that's just one. Mm -hmm. I don't remember having that card. Here, I tell you what. All right, that, that's the one I'm taking. Uh, and then let me take one more asset. Why is this giving me some kind Yeah, of you just need to drag a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's just you got to kind of do it quicker, yeah. All right, so this is my end here now. You wouldn't keep in mind we wouldn't know any of this. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so this I would... Cool. This is pretty cool because why? Because then I can combine Peshmerga with the truck bombing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is kind of neat. Um, and what we'll I will surely do? play the Israeli airstrike. Okay. Big question, however, is where? Because I know from the previous combat that there are some tanks up there, which is which is pretty scary, and I can see that in Latakia there are even more. On the other hand, there might be a chance to potentially push on the Moscow stone here. Um, hmm. So that's a tough decision to make. How many spaces can I select? Two in Syria or as polar units. And then I roll for each unit in that space. Okay. So let's let's Try a bold play, and I will bombard Kunetra and Cortana. Uh -huh. And roll a die for each unit in there. Let me grab the die over here. Keep hitting R a couple times on it or something. This is kind of. So there's one here. I will roll for that one. Here we can. Oh, wait. that's death, right? That is eliminated. Exactly. Well, eliminate that into my replacement pool. Good, good, good strike, Israel. You bugger. I roll for the topmost. Yep. Ooh, is uh, it's also eliminated. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, and the next one is a three. It is reduced, and that's it. You bugger! Damn you, Israelis! Sorry. All right. Uh, this one is yeah, okay. And then. All right, so that's your that one. You can, do, you can do as many as you want, as many as you care to. Yeah. Which one is this? Is this. This has six ops, or look at your cards and pick one. Okay. And you can't do I really know you need six ops? I don't. I don't think so. Oh well, if I want to move down here, I need the one thing it cannot be played on turn one. It says, "Oh right, exactly." Okay. Well then, I will have to check for supply, and my boys in Palmyra are isolated. Correct. Um. But I get, yeah, right, I get uh, supplies from Turkey up here. That's okay. Jordan down here. Makes sense. Good. Correct. Good. Good. So then we go to planning. Um, Correct. And you decide how many, one or two, by the way. You can do, mm -hmm. you can add them up if you really. So you could do that for the thing. You could do that just to get rid of it if you wanted to replace it later, if you don't want it in your hand, sort of. You don't have to use all the ops points. 
But remember that you can use all those. You can use if you if you were to burn it for six, you could move twelve up to twelve elements. You know, you, uh, counters. So that's pretty powerful mm -hmm. if you want to kind of shift things pretty significantly. Yeah, but I don't know how many. You don't have that many. <laughs> Right. The only thing I really want to do is um, is combat down here. Okay. I mean, you can do that too, of course. That would be six offensives if you had the opportunity to. And if I don't play that, then what was that? Two offensives or? Uh, yes. You. If you don't use it for that, you can do the two free moves and one for one free offensive. Right. It's called, okay. It's a mm -hmm. Strategic depot rule. And I think that is what I'm going to do. I don't see how I could win with my militia up here. Especially as you have uh, drawn new cards. So I will not play the card. I will then simply go to movement, which I do not have. Well, you can do one free move. Right. But there's really no no space I could go, so I will then uh, announce my single one offensive against Quenetra. Okay. And tally up good. my offensive points, six. Oh, you're gonna Versus one is a five. Yep, and let's see, defensively... Oh, it can't be played on point turn one. <laughs> I could have called a truce in that area. And it not like <laughs> hold on, hold on. We have a truce here. You didn't hear it? No. <laughs> hey, the UN okay. is called. <laughs> uh, apparently, your people signed. My people were there. <laughs> um, all right. So I think it's a sh I don't think I have anything. These won't. These are, these are for attack only. Uh, and it can only support Kurds or IS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, or any type of militia, which I don't. Okay. Yeah, then I will. Attack only anyway. It's attack only anyway. So yep. I am probably going to be eliminated here. So go for it. I will so roll I'm... a four. The four is a defender with treats. It's just a matter of how many steps you take. You took one step. You took a step on the way out, at least. I took, I took a step on the way out, at least. So just flip one of those and then move in. Okay. <clears throat> so neither of us have pulled the replacement card yet. Uh, and as I don't have armored units, I cannot continue moving. And that correct. is me right. done, I guess. So did you move? move. Uh, I mean, that was, that was bad on my part, leaving them in my, you know, on my rear axis here. But. That's why I left the. That's what Hezbollah is for, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> can they? I don't think that. Can they even? Oh, they do have a move. Can they move out of there? I don't think they can. Let me check that real quick. Let them see the special moves. So that. No. Uh, right. I think otherwise I can be in Syria, though. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, I have no strategic movement and I will draw cards. Which is one event. Schmerger as well. And two minutes. Maybe you let me shuffle them. So we have here. Kyusha. IEDs. All right, and that brings us to turn two, I guess. Okay, so we move this here. Uh, we don't reshuffle yet, um, but if you, 
playing, we'll, we'll just wait. I mean, if you feel like we should shuffle the deck itself, we can if you want. Yeah, I just did that. Okay, I might just, I'll just do a few. Uh, where are we? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Because we didn't really do that at the beginning. That's why we're doing that. So, all right. So, back to square one with, with, here, you did bring yourself up to four, right? Yeah, okay. And then you yes. with our counter. You're setting my counter. All right, let's go. So events. I am going to play. We are on turn two, so mm -hmm. I might do one or two turns. <laughs> Declare I truth. Do, I might do the humanitarian issues. Where should I do that? I think I might do that. Just to screw with you. Over two turns, no players allowed to attack this. Okay. I could do it on Baka, and then you won't be able to attack me in Lebanon. Um, or here, is this you? Yeah. I don't think I have any. You know what? I'm going to declare a humanitarian truce in Baka. Because I know you can't move all the way to hit him otherwise, right? All right, so that's what I'll do. I'll declare humanitarian truce in Baka. I don't know how we want to mark this. Is there like a UN marker over here anywhere? You see? Uh, I don't see it. Here, I'll just put it like up here. I uh, don't hear they are. Uh, UN truce. Here it is. Yeah. In Baka. Is on number two, and next turn you need to flip it. Yep. So that's nice. <laughs> oh, God, I love this game. All right. Uh, <laughs> I will activate the PYD. Pretty young Kurds, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right. So this is for their attacks and so forth. So I am going to activate KYD. Or excuse me, PYD. Pick one eliminated Kurdish unit from the pool or upgrade to reduce Kurdish to full strength. Receive four ops to move. Okay, so what we do is there a Kurdish PYD? Yeah, there's one in the in the pool. All right, where be that? Okay. Very strong one. And, and I might of course do this. And then they get Receive four ops to move and attack with right. those units. So let's mm -hmm. keep a let's copy this. Um, this will be my curd marker. They have four ops. Okay, mm -hmm. I will name it curd ops. Okay. okay, so that's that. That's my event. Um, uh, so I, I'm going to leave it out here just so we can yep, sure. make sure we don't mess up or do anything else. Okay, we're in section 26. Let's just make sure I do this right. Mm -hmm. Might as well do it right. The curds are not represented by a player. They're activated by card, like IS. Each scenario specifies the presence or not. There, it, there was a, there was a restriction called out. Let me look. Where does it mention that? Ah, uh, okay. IS and Kurdish Peshmerga units have limited supports. See rule eight one. Let's look at eight one. This is this was a scenario thing. Oh, yeah. this is just. Meaning that they can only use asset cards with, with with that other marking, which is what we're going to use anyway. Okay. Um, wow. Could we actually? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, there is a rule that you cannot use the same card in the same offensive. Now, if I do two offenses, I can do a second truck bomb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's just I kind of want to call that out. Um, so you can't use like two combat engineers, but you can use two different cards. Um, like we were trying, like you, you were, I can't remember who stacked it before, but I think it was me. All right, so that's that's the events. 
uh, supply checks. Any of my guys out of supply at this point? I don't think I they don't made think like, so. Nope. Uh, okay, now planning. Planning is going to be interesting. They have their, that's the cool thing about the Peshmerga and IS because they have independent ops, right? So mm -hmm. technically, I mean, at this point, I've extended myself pretty roughly. I think I will stick with the supply depot rule otherwise, all right? So that means I get two moves and one offensive for free here for the main Syrian regime. All right, so that's that. That's my planning. Planning. Okay, and then movement for each off of move. Um, so then... Let's see if the Kurds, did the Kurds get a free move? Well, I don't even need that. Let's just do two and two for that then. Uh, you know what, let's do, let's make it one move and three offs for the Kurds in particular. Hmm. Yeah, and let me let me look at Kurds again. I just want to look at one thing because what I want to make sure is that when you get those ops activation from time to time, player can activate the Kurdish fighters and manage their counters. Uh, he he chooses a unit from the Kurdish force pool, placing it on a controlled space of the same faction, which I did. He then has four ops to move the mobile Kurdish and launch counters, following the normal rules for planning movements. Okay. Kurdish units of different affiliations may never stack nor attack together except in scenario seven due to permanent rivalries between their leaders. So that's another, that's a stack. Mm -hmm. and any stacking rules, if, if they're assigned to you as a player, they can stack unless the scenario <laughs> or the rules say otherwise. So, all right. And what I wanted to make sure there was that, that the ops points work exactly the same. Okay. And they do. Makes sense. All right, so now we are into movement of everything. So the movement from a Syrian regime is the two, two units may move before attacks. These guys are stacked. This guy could move away from Oh, that's yours. Sorry. Um, anything else wants to move on my part? This is, I think everything is as stacked as we're going to get. Okay. Uh, I'll just blow that. All right. So then our, um, let's do my moves for UID. I think I would just move this guy in here. So that's the one move there. Then that's it for that. Is that able to move? Uh, what does the the foreign brackets mean? Of course, there's no oh, movement you're, rating you're on the. You're correct. Thank you for noticing that. That's a that's a defense only. Okay. Stationary. Mm -hmm. Stationary. Oh, great. Good call. So that also Two means mobile units there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm assuming, yeah, I assume that means that too, which could definitely play. Okay, so here's my here's my first offensive. <laughs> first of potentially three. We'll see. Should you be fighting offensive. ISIS? So <laughs> if they got if they got my note intact, it said of offense, <laughs> offense, offense <laughs> in Arabic. Uh, with the with the emphasis on the third offense. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So what do we got? We got four, four, two, two. So it's eight to four. So it's plus four. Uh, defense gets to place assets first. If you got anything that you want. You are even at twelve because these seem to be very strong okay. units. They're four and four. Oh, you're right. Tech six. Yep. So oh, that's twelve four. against four plus eight. 
You're correct, sir. Thank you for there is something in the in the space. No. What are you questioning? Do you think there's some sort of ruling that does something there? What is it? Do you have a minus here? No. No, there's nothing. Um all right. Anything else? Nothing else. All right. So what I will also do is play the truck bombing during this attack. The player manipulates the suicide jihadists to support the Kurdish units in the current battle. Two column shifts uh, can only be played as an asset for IS or Kurdish troop support or any militia. So, yeah, right. And this is going to be pretty, this is going to hurt. Anything else? I will counter that, I guess, with IEDs. Does it say, Which it says you can shift use it in back. Oh, it's defense only. Defense only, right. Interesting. Let's look at that. Yeah. Ooh, yep. So that okay. shifts us back to the 8 to 10 column. You are correct, sir. Which now makes it not not a sure thing. All right, I think that's where we're at. Right. Oh, come on. Hmm. Ooh, baby. I see. What? Uh, defender uh, retreats with heavy uh, losses, footstep losses, and withdraw, which is not. Goodbye. Thank you, PYD. All right. So then they take it off, and I think they take a. Do they take at least one step? I think they take one step. Let's double check that. I don't want to do your... Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Correct. No armored units. It's always nice to put your reduced guys on top to make them forget how much you got. All right, these guys are all defense only, PYD. Um, so that's it for, we need to do the combat here, the offensive for the Syrian regime. So that was one offense. Honestly, they can keep going. Is there anybody they can attack? No. I don't want them to attack me. So I can, could attack ISIS. Uh... You are correct. I will choose not to. Mm -hmm. Just playing roulette there that I'll get ISIS eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only reasoning behind that. Um, nope. And then I'll do my Syria regime attack here. They are isolated. I'm that's down to two defense. Seven to two is a plus five. Any other defenses? Yep. Okay. Um, I, have no I can't today. play. I can, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these cards. And then what's interesting is next turn, the Peshmergers go back in, by the way. <laughs> That's, where you gotta watch. That's where you got to watch out for. It's, it's almost like, um, oh, God, what the hell is the darn thing? Uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like a pandemic yeah. rule. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's the pandemic swing. All right. So, and these guys were isolated as well. <laughs> um, so that's rough. Well, that's true. So that shifts so you on. to the 11 column. Yep. All right. Thank you for doing that. And then any other thing, I can't play this because it's not the Kurds this time, or I guess. I guess we're at, right? I don't think anything that's else. That's it. Yep. All right. Let's do our nifty difty. Ooh, five. Uh, what does that give me? A five. It's a uh, heavy loss of retreat. As I'm isolated, I will be destroyed anyway. Two losses also. I think I take one, right? Yes. Um, I honestly think I'll just go ahead and take care of that. Right. Mm, yeah, sure. We have any units remaining on the board, yeah. <laughs> For you? Yeah. Um, well, we could call her if you want after 
this I mean, oh, yeah, no, let's let's here. let's continue a little bit um, okay so you take a little, little i okay so i didn't stack the deck this way but it, i i got some good <laughs> i i got the i got some good combinations there this this is a training scenario it's it's not horribly it's not totally balanced like but that's the whole point it's yeah sure this is what happened actually right <laughs> Um, I haven't gotten the chemical weapon card yet, by the way, which I can use. I, I think, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if I get it, if I happen to get it, I'll show the crowd just, you know, <laughs> for training purposes. Right? Mm -hmm. we, we need to train our, our units on the chemical weapon dispensary, right? All right. Um, so that's it, right? That was my one offense there. They weren't going to do any more offenses. And I think everything is now back down to zero. Let me put all both my guys down to zero. My original counters, and I'll get rid of these counters because I don't have the curds anymore. Get rid of those. Do okay. you want to do a strategic movement? That's good. Thank you for calling that out. Um, had you done one in yours? Yeah, it's kind of a little bit too late, but I just don't remember if you did or not. Okay. Um, no, I didn't really have any units to move. All right. I don't think I... Well, I could... I can't go through there. Let's try. Oh, no, that isn't light enough. No, you can't. Uh, yeah, I could do that. I could do this. Should I do that? Or should I... I might. I don't know if I want. Oh, yeah. One of my, one of my, like a decisive victory is getting rid of these guys too, right? Yeah, I might do that then. Um, I'll, I'll keep this here just because, just whatever. For now, I think that's, I think that's it, and then adjust cards. I will. Grab another. Did it again. Okay. There's another. Ooh, nice. Then I'll take these. Let's see what I get. Ooh. I got the best market again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that that that's pretty brutal right there. All right. Um Okay, so I'm gonna play my Peshmerga card. Very mm. oh, you. <laughs> uh, and I will upgrade this one and get four ops with them. Oh, that was a good move. That was such a good move. Um. <laughs> you, apparently, you apparently have a stash of cash that you. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay. Son of a gun. Do I want to play for ops for my rebel guys? I don't think so. Supply is the same situation as before. Everybody is yeah, in supply. Oh, see, that's the only thing. Oh, you do have this. Ooh, you can use that for. You can use that with the fresh markers. You see that? The, the, the Kutushkas can, can column shift the. Mm -hmm. uh, UID yep. in your attacks. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that means I will have the units, the, the usual could, two moves. Uh, a suggestion would be to potentially burn that for the ops. Burn just so you have a little more. I mean, you don't have to if this gives you anything else, but you could burn that for the ops and you have a bunch of. You could do yeah, I don't more. know if I. The only. The, the, main, the main potential benefit of that is these guys could do multiple offenses without but they get four they get four ops anyway which is right which is right right let's take that over here um so mm -hmm. you got four ops over here for your curds well, well, how do you want to split up your curd ops your cur ops uh, i guess all offensives ah uh, okay and then i oh, do my that's right i just want that's what i wanted to know I don't think they can use. I don't think the Kurds can use 
Curtis, I don't think they can use the, that's what I was trying to look up before I, I lost track of what I was looking at. I, I just wanted to know if they had the option of doing the supply move. I don't think they do. So you need to at least, well, if you don't have to move them, then, then you don't have to move them. In other words, they can't use the supply depot move. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because okay. they have to basically spend off. Yep. And can I freely decide who goes first? Can I mix that or? Well, you have to do all. You have to do all movement and then all offenses in any order you want. Right, but I can just freely decide the order in which uh, PYD and the rebels active uh, uh, conduct yes, their offensives. I, yes, I think so. Yes, mm -hmm. there's nothing that says you can't. There's nothing that says you have to do the Peshmerga's first or anything. Okay. I will read just in case. Hold on. Combat restrictions. Then I will do fancy moves with my militia in the west. And could you could you copy the perky joker a few times for me or promote um, me? And I can yeah, do it myself. You want this a copy of this? Yeah, please. Here's a couple right there. So just to keep track down here. Because I will use my two moves. Oh, by the, the way, oh, another thing. You might even want to use it now. You can actually burn the Joker for two cards immediately. To get two more cards? Yeah, that's what the Joker's for. I, I'm sorry, I should have highlighted that heavier before. But you can burn. That's what the Joker is for. The actual Joker, not the possession mm -hmm. Joker. Okay. Um, so I think you might want. I don't know if you might want to do that, because then you could get more assets for your combat. Yeah, probably. And I can, can I decide if I draw events or assets or... Yes, you can. I just put your right. I put your normal joker over here. It's easier for this. Okay, so then I right, draw so. and oops. So you're gonna burn that? I will burn it. Yes. All right. So that's gonna go back over here. Draw an asset. That's the first card during offensive. Consider any oh, exchange. Ooh, that's good. That's a great card. A Muslim country or faction. Well, which is true for my rebels. Okay. And I will draw another asset. Which Ooh, is missiles. That works for Peshmerga, by the way. Ah, juicy. Wow, you, you did good there. One color shift. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah. That's All cool. right. Uh let's let's um uh, conduct the movement. So that is one, two, three. They move through here. I control all that stuff. My second move is to follow up and occupy Damascus. Um, that's my movement with the rebels done. And now I need to decide, do I want to use the Katyushas for the Peshmerga or do I try to attack? What would really help you it would have been kind of nice if you had gotten the IS as well. <laughs> that would have been <laughs> that would have been like a two punch <laughs> solution. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. It's okay. You got the first murder. That was good. And you got. So what was good. the rule again on the Hezbollah? They can leave Lebanon. They, they can, can enter. They can move. I can move them into Syria, and then okay. they only. They're only. So they could put. Against. But they cannot. Can I, can't they move or can't they attack? Uh, let me double check that. Um, you, you can double check that. Hold on, let me look at that. The player is usually only the north part of map and play is confined to Syria. They may not enter another country with the exception of the two spaces of Baqa and Baalbek in Lebanon, which units of the Lebanese Hezbollah may move into. Baqa, Baqa, and Baalbek. So okay, but the UN 
uh, token uh, does not prevent you from movement, just from attacking. No, you just can't. Be, you know, I could break the truce, of course. <laughs> I don't think which, so. Which would be very Hezbollah of me, by the way. I don't think so. you can. I can't. Let me, let me look that up. So the, the card that. says you can... No player is allowed to attack the space or launch an offensive from it. Uh, yeah. So, but you can still move through. If I sort of, uh, if I move out of Damascus you to attack, it. then yeah, you can. I could make it. it. I could take control of the really, right? And I'd be cut off again. Yeah, of course. Uh, which I don't want to be. Okay, so I guess I will sit tight in Damascus then. And not use my tag, or I could potentially use it up here. Anyways, I will usually use the Peshmerga attack against Aleppo. Okay. And that's actually one of your decisive victory targets, by the way. Right, I will use both units, and I will, I guess, I will use the Katyusha. Or should I use the missiles? You can do both. As long as it's not the same type, you can use all of it in the same offensive. You just can't use the same card twice. You can't both use the same Kurdish card twice. Troops. Okay. So I will use the missiles anyway. I might have another attack. So that might come in handy. Ooh, you know what? You can't use Al Akbar as Peshmerga. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's only for ISIS. Oh, wow. It's only for ISIS. Hold on, why did you say... Hold on, the player control room. It says a Muslim country or faction. That would be true for, for Syria as well, or not? Right, yes, exactly. But you can't use it for... Kurd. Peshmerga. Mm -hmm. yeah, Peshmerga, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know. Are they... Do they have their own... They're not... I thought... I thought Turkish Kurds were Islamic, are they not? Uh, I believe some are. Uh, maybe it's just not as, maybe it's just they're just not as fanatical. Maybe that's how I that's. Think that, I don't have a doctrine on that, I believe. I'm going to have to read it. I'm going to read up on all these. There are also uh, Christians there. Yes, there definitely are. Yep, you were correct. <clears throat> maybe okay. that's. Okay. Do I want to use the Katyushas immediately as well? Yeah, well, why not, right? There are tanks in there, I want to destroy them. Okay, that brings me to, I have 12 attack, you have a 9 defense. All right. This is so at so 3. We're on the 2 to three, two to 4 here. Right. Then I do have uh, 4 shifts in total. Four positive one, two, three, four. I'm supposed to play my stuff first, but that's attack only. The truck bombing is attack only, and the air superiority uh, cancels the effect of any hostile aircraft mission. Does not apply to stealth. Must be played after your opponent declares an air mission. You didn't have an air mission, so mm -hmm. I think that's it. Roll for it. Well, you're okay. gonna be saying. Unless unless you roll horribly, no, and you take it. Um, so you got a DS. A DS. Defender surrenders. Shit. <laughs> All defending units wow. eliminated. Wow, that was Attack a great move. Control. You got. It. You, you got. Oh my god, you got Aleppo. The, the PYD I took did. Aleppo. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Katyusha's use, and then they have another attack. We want to push it. You have, right, you just used one, right? I you could technically keep going if you wanted. Yeah, and I still have the missiles because they are for the duration of the turn, so that gives me at least one shift. Oh, wow. Um, oh, really? Oh, that's. I fun. think I, I, w I will risk it. I will attack Hamas. Yeah. Missiles from the brave. Here come the brave PYD. Although, hmm, the thing is, well, if hmm, I need to hold Aleppo with my my rebels, right? Not with the Peshmerga, or 
are they so, considered to be well, on my side? side? It's your side. You know, I mean, well, you're right. You're right. But at least you've at least you position somebody you might be able to take out, right? You have a little bit more. <laughs> They're static, right? They're at least not on the move. You're right about that. I mean, technically, you could move. Well, if that's why you probably should have kept some. Well, no, you can't leave. No. And then, yeah. And then so they have the issue that, that they can't use the strategic movement of that. with. Yeah. The, thing, the thing I would recommend is that if you, if you get another Peshmerga card, that you hold in your pocket so that you can get them out of there. You can influence them to leave Aleppo by paying them to let you take it over. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Like> <laughs> can they can they move through rebels? They're not if it's the same faction. They can't go through another faction now. They can't. Okay. Uh, well, let me think about that. Hold on one second. Well, where are you going to end up? No, you can't attack through them, and then they can't. They can't. Yeah, let's stay there. let's They're say I would attack you know here. I would capture that, and then hold on a second. Let's next turn or whenever they. Let's read the let's yep. read the uh, Kurdish rivalry. Uh, hold on, combat restrictions. Kurdish fighters may only benefit from limited support, namely those asset cards with the orange symbol. Uh, they can nevertheless receive close air support if a supporting player agrees to provide it. Because of their territorial, their territoriality, the garrisons of Kurdish factions may never retreat into a space that does not belong to the same faction. Except in scenario seven, Kurdish units from a particular faction may not move into Kurdish territory belonging to other factions. So technically, that's a Sunni. Nor may they retreat into Kurdish territory belongs. If they are forced to retreat and do not have an, an available space of their own faction, then they are eliminated. Kurdish After having activated the Kurds and resolved all offenses, the active player returns to the normal force and play other. Okay. PYD and KDP. Due to their strong local footprint, the, the Kurdish units of PYD and KDP can reappear in any space within their faction's hold as soon as someone plays the Christian leader. Uh, okay. Well, the one thing I don't know is whether or not you can. Are you trying to base? Well, you got three. You can't stack there anyway, right? Or were you trying to move one in there? You can't do a combined. Oh, no, the, the, the it was just a general question. So let's assume I managed to actually conquer Hamach. Yeah. And then get, I, I get another Peshmerga could, card. Could they move to Afrin? Yes, to I think it? so. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you're, you, are, you are effectively temporarily on the same side. You cannot fight with each other because they have their own options. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any reason why you couldn't move through them. You're in control of them. You're going to let them through. You know what I mean? I, I don't see any reason. There's, there's nothing that says you can't, and I don't think it makes any sense that you would be blocked by that either. As long as you, as long as the the final resting location doesn't doesn't negatively do the stack, you know, if you as long as you adhere to the stacking rule, you should be fine. And they're friendly. So they technically are. All right. Yeah, hey, well then, let's let's attack. Oh wait a minute. Oh, you're gonna go directly here. Okay. <laughs> I forgot this line right here. All right. So okay, interesting. Damn. All right, so that guy, that guy Oops. is here. I'm gonna pull him, gonna pull him over here. Yeah, there you go. Right so, okay, so it's five and Ooh, eight, that's, 13. That's a good unit. <laughs> 13, a and good I am at 12. So that puts us. At You're still damaged. One. And then I do have the the missile shift to plus two. It's not. Yeah. I don't know. Do that's we have a card not, you could play? Not wonderful, but better than. You have reasonable odds. Yeah. But don't you have that other card that? Oh, it only works for IS. You can't use the. Right. Exactly. The, uh, bar. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that is. I think that's all, it. Isn't it? Oh no! You have that as a minus one in the. Uh, in oh, space. Yeah, right. Intrinsic defense, which is a shift. Okay. So you're back down to. 
more exchanges there. Okay. You still got a good chance if you get if you get three or higher. Your Do you have any card you want to play? Um, for defensive sake, this is not for defense. Not I cannot play either. So okay. <clears throat> Well, that, was a bad, that, was a, that was a failed attack. <laughs> AR. The attacking force loses one step and withdraws to its original space. Okay, but yeah. that's that's all right. We still have can, Aleppo then. You still, how many more attacks do you have? You uh, that's all. Have. I had only the. Oh, no. You can, you can attack twice more. You're still only uh, using your. Oh, that is true. You're now, and you still. Unfortunately for me, still have these damn Katusha. Yeah, then let's let's go for it. You <laughs> go for it second right? Yeah, you're gonna try again. Yeah, why not? Uh, however, uh, I don't know if that's reasonable. I only have nine attack now. Hey, you can still wear me down. Thirteen. That's four. You, hey, you paid for it. They need to fight. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, minus four, minus f no. I don't remember. Know. Hey, here's another thing. Here's another thing. This is strategic because you want to take Aleppo, right? Yeah. But, uh, you want you want your guys to take Aleppo, not not your your friends. Okay, maybe maybe we get an exchange. Maybe I'm lucky and we get an exchange. Do you so we are on the minus five, and I will I will roll. Do you have any of your original forces on the map? Two. Uh, and that's the same result as we had before. So this one flips and I will stay. Makes no sense to attack any more. Oh, wow. So that failed? That failed? Nope. All right. So then you uh, guys go back. They, they're they still there. It's been they're worse. Uh, that makes sense considering this transit. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, um... Do I have strategic movement? I could move units from Damascus, but I don't want to. Then I will draw two cards. Okay, bringing yourself back up. Oh, I got dash. Ooh. And I got... Ooh. Oh, shit. That's the one I didn't want you to get. Ah. Uh... Okay. Let's, let me show the... The, the fans yeah, here, the active player, he's going to be able to take control of ISIS. So, yeah. all right. Oh, and some of these. Oh, and then this one will work for it too. So, mm -hmm. you'll get that Daesh and the uh, Allah. Oh. All, right. all on the same turn. Lovely. All right. So, I get, I, I'd say, what, you want to go ahead and do at least another turn here? Yeah, we can do that. So, that's. Do you have enough time? On turn Allah. three, I have time. Um, right, so, we'll so that means. Three. Here's the other thing. Once we go to turn three, we have to we have to uh, uh, reshuffle. Okay. Reshuffle these in. So let's flip these in. If you don't mind doing the other ones, yeah. Thank you. Nope. Right, so we we do that and then we shuffle it. I just kind of do it a few times. All right. So those. So everything that we played is now back in play. Mm -hmm. So there might be some burgers coming in the future. Oh. But we reduce the truce by one for you. Yes. You already did that, right? Yes. All right, so that goes away after this one, which is a good thing to point out. Um, that helped a lot. <laughs> uh, really cool game. Very good game, I think. Um, all right, so events. What I want to get do? reinforcements now. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we both. I think we desperately. We we both need that desperately. Um, you need it because you need some of your original forces on the map. Yeah. Right. Y'all think you have any FSA out there? Do you? Eh, I don't know. Eh. All right. So I will play. Um, I'm gonna play UAVs, and I'm gonna play Crusher Marga. And it's, it's, getting so, the reinforcements is really only possible via the cards, right? Correct. There's a pretty good amount of them in there. We're just we're just been unlucky. <laughs> Honestly, I think yeah. it's I think it's an event card, and it should be you know it's a reasonable probability. We sh we mm -hmm. should have gotten one by now. I, I think it might have I think it might have hurt us when we reshuffled them. Um, but okay, so let's do UAV. The uh, the player uses UAVs to target militia. 
the active player spots two stacks of enemy units and attacks one militia unit if any um within one of these stacks so, so in other words if you're hiding your militia for some reason mm-hmm. um so if i need to find some that actually say militia on them i'm going to well you don't have control of these guys anymore otherwise i probably would have been able to do that i think technically but you don't have control of them anymore all right so then I probably I'm gonna go ahead and UAV this stack right here. Just see okay. if there's any militia in here. Oh, they are That's all militia. Totally I, I didn't even see it. They're all so I just I I roll against I'm gonna roll against this one right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. And let me, I'll use the dice tower. I just froze for a second. All right, I'm curious why everything is scripted in here, but he uses a just a plain dice tower instead of the the scripted uh, die rollers. Um, it's for you. Um, one of these is reduced. There we go. Oh. So I will just put that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Um, spots two stacks and attack one motion within one of these stacks. Okay. So, in other words, I check, I'm able to check it out and take a. I don't know. Well, that's a very, uh, <laughs> I didn't know there was a. A militia sensor on UAV. <laughs> as far as only if I need it. Right? Okay. All right. Um, yep. It is multiplied. It is modified by the defense value. Was there? Yeah, but there's none. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. All right. So go ahead. And, you, you can pull that over if you want. All right. So the Peshmerga arrive yet again. So I'm going to copy over these guys again. Um, I will do. So this is going to get interesting, right? <laughs> now you get now you get the PYD up up your rear here, <laughs> but you have ISIS control, right? So mm-hmm. ISIS is probably going to do some damage over here. Um, so what I could do is attack ISIS uh, with the PYD. Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'll do one move. I'll do one move, and then the rest. Sensors. Okay. Um, so that's for that. And then for my own. Um, okay, so I'm not there yet. So I'm, uh, now I check supply. Do I have anybody in a supply? I don't think so. Uh, nope. This is under my control, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So supply is taken care of. Movement. I'm going to move this PYD here. Just that. Oh, they can't move. They're freaking. No, motion. they're static again. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, okay, whatever. That's my mistake. I'll, I'll eat the mistake. Um, okay. Uh, so then what do I do? Move what wise here? I'm going to. I think I'm only on the two moves. Okay, so I did the default. So I'm doing two moves on the more offensive. Crack it. Let's do the um now. Um. Yeah, I don't want to give him. I don't want to give him a chance. I almost want to keep the. Oh God, you have ISIS too. Um. Yeah, I remember. Okay. You definitely need to take back Damascus at some point. I almost want to just give up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. One move. There. Okay. And this guy, I'm going to move. I can't move. Oh, I can move there. Uh, I might just do is this one or two. Oh, yeah. So I'll do this. Uh, and then hopefully maybe reinforce next time if I get a card for that. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. all that. All right, so that's all my moves. Both. Okay, so now I'm on t- offensive. Let me go ahead and do the ISIS attack. Yeah, screw it. Um, that's one of my goals anyway, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack here. All right, now we reveal what's in here. 
I'll let you do okay. the honors. You can play the ISIS. So defense is eight. Okay, attacks is 14. So plus six. Right. Um, it is a calm shift left. Mm -hmm. Plus, let's go to plus six. Um, mm -hmm. Let's not do. Okay, so column shift left for the intrinsic defense value of the location. Right. Um, and then the defender gets to. You are in control of ISIS. So technically, you could defend if you had an asset that you want to defend them with, if you wanted to. I think you can defend them on the, if it's if it's applicable. I don't. Uh, don't have one. Man. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a card. Okay, but I think that would have been fair. Uh, and I think that's and I can play an offensive card. Um, can't use this because it can only be played by IS or Kurdish. I'm going to use it for the other attack. Okay. So that's it, right? Uh, D6 it. Oh, man, that looks like a six. All right, four. Exchange, oof. Exchange with a thing. Attacker and defender each lose two. Okay, so let's do that first. Uh, OK, so that means two of these are gone. Let's flip it, flip it, put them in the, put them in the stack. This guy is still here and flipped here. Um, and then I take two steps, right? Mm -hmm. I think I will just remove one of these then. Oop. All right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And whatever. And just to keep my offensive power up and then. Then do I have any other offenses? I do not have any other. That was my one offense for them. Okay. So now we're on to the PYD, which I control the Peshmerga. <clears throat> so I'm not only going to do that, but I'll probably use the truck bombing attack with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And let's go to town here. You have now been attacked by your recent friends. Um, that's a six against a. Five. Yep. Six against five. Um, yeah, you're on the yeah, we're in the one. And I don't have a card I could play. And then you don't have any defense cards? No. No. Uh so I get a two column shift for truck bombing attack. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any intrinsic stuff that we missed here? I don't think there is any here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what I roll. Five. Oh, five. Again, not bad. Not bad. DR. Defender loses one step to withdraw. If. There's no space to go unless I can flee into Turkey. Um, well, you can flee over here. I think you can. Because we are not allowed to leave Syria, so they are all gone. You are correct, sir. Ooh. That's harsh. And that's Turkey. Okay. Yeah, that is harsh. Um, even though I did. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I, uh, I'm such a bad person. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, this game is great. Uh, Peshmerga have been, I think that's it. I and mean, there's no other counter, there's no other additional attack that I can do. You want to take yourself? <laughs> I think that's, other than that, we do a strategic move potentially. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got three here. Um, what else do we want to do? Hmm. I'm losing people that can even move. Um, cool. 
Uh, just for giggles, I could to move this guy over here for extra defense. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's, and then I adjust my cards. I will take one asset. I will take two defense. Just do at this point, but whatever. Ooh, reinforcements. What? Yeah. Get that card down. I just pulled. Okay, I will activate dash. Where the hell did my other card go? Bitch. Says I can pick three eliminated units. So I could potentially look at them and then pick the strongest even. They are if there's oh yeah they there is a difference. How many do I pick? Three. Wow. But wait, they previously eliminated units. Yeah, so so only the two. Ah, okay. Only these two. Oh, they actually dif they they differentiate that. I, I I think it's the same pool, honestly. Um. Yeah, well, I, I don't know really, because I, that's interesting. I'll, I'll read up on that later, but I, I that's a little weird because I don't know how you're going to differentiate that properly. As far as I know, that, what, that, what that means is you take it from the replacement pool. Mm, okay. Well, then, of course, I would take, you're gonna take uh, this, on your, the, the this one. The Ford Broncos with 50 mils. That's what you want. <laughs> And probably this one here. Why not? Be back. Ah, three units. Damn you, Isis. So there was another mobile unit right here. Let's leave this one. So, all right, and then place them on any box controlled by ISIS. Well, hello there. It's, it's, I'm gonna let you take, I'm gonna let you pick those, that's fine, but I think technically you're actually supposed to keep them down and just randomly take the top, whatever. Um, I, I think you're not supposed to actually look and pick. Hmm. Okay. How is it, how does it read? Let me, let me, let's look at it again. Let's, let's, let's pick look at three it. previously eliminated, which, Basically, we're only the two, but it says pick three, not draw or anything. Here, let me also read the IS section here. Yeah. Um, just in case it gives me better mm -hmm. IS counters. IS counters may only stack and fight with other IS counters, except all Bakhtadi counter, uh, which has two steps. All their IS units have one. IS counters are always placed face down on the map to hide their combat potential reflecting their ability to merge. Even when they, even when he takes control, control of IS, a player may not check IS unit strength until he is resolving the offensives he has declared. As soon as the combat has ended, the surviving IS counters are flipped again. The combat values of IS counters fluctuate between blah, blah, blah. Uh, there are three IS decoys, which are removed from play when turned over to resolve. Um, the Al Baghdadi counter moves and fights as a normal unit by expending OPs. All other IS units do not have a movement allowance. Instead, they have an X symbol, which. Hmm. All right. I don't think you moved them by accident. I think you just. You just oh, interesting. Okay. That, 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 that's for the, that was on the movement. Anyway, we have these counters can only move by launching an offensive into an adjacent. Okay, that makes sense. That's what you did. If they're offensive and is victorious they occupy this new space if not they return to their initial this rule depicts the local and tribal organization all is units are eliminated as soon as they suffer a single step they may retreat after combat they may retreat after combat by the way that's i think that's a special rule. uh eliminated units are placed face down in the is force pool they can return to play when a player plays the is activation card and brings back into play three previously destroyed is units so it all goes back into the pool and then you randomly pick it's kind of that's kind of weird uh, you, you know it's like okay, so then, 
Oh. You, it, it's, do you, the thing is, do you, you know, there's no way to shuffle this. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you have to put them on the bottom? Do you have to put them on, you know, are you always placing them on top? And that way you are getting the probably the most recently eliminated. You know what I mean? I, I feel we... like that's. Uh, no. I feel like that's probably the most logical way to do it. There, there's an existing pool, and then as you eliminate them, they're going on top. So, but when you could you top. could you drop us a bag in here from the from the objects? A bag, yes. Hold on. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then because we put them all in the bag, and then we can shuffle the bag and draw randomly. Hold on a second. You are correct. So that's a great way to do it. Uh, where is my bag? Here is a bag. Okay, perfect. Let's grab them, put them in there. Perfect. Place this one here. I will shuffle. Oh, cool. I didn't know you. Oh, and great. draw. That, that, much Oops. that makes a lot more sense. Thank you for bringing that up. Three random units, and I can click. Can I place them all here, even though it's, it uh, overstacks? It can only go to four. It can go to four um, maximum. I can only draw two. You can put the other one somewhere else if you want. Uh, well, this is currently Peshmerga controlled, and I guess here there are already three in Raqqa. So that's <clears throat> then. No, you're just going to well, put it anywhere here, though. You can put it on any of these. They, they, well, they, it, we are limited they to are, Syria, right? No, they as long as as long as a Syrian unit has not been there yet, it belongs to IS. These are these are areas that are IS controlled until otherwise. Right, fine. right. But uh, the scenario limits us to to Syria. Oh. Place confined oh. to Syria, they may not enter another country okay. with the exception. Here's one right here. You can put it here. You can put it up mm, no, this should be white pack controlled. PYD. They uh, moved through there. You're right. So only two, but that's okay. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, place the barrel received twice as many ops as the number of oil fields controlled, which is one oil field makes two ops. Next two ops. Okay, and they will use them for attack, obviously. And then I will... Let's see the rebels. The rebels got this stack. <laughs> That's all they have left. Uh, they will probably do nothing at all. I will, of course, play this card. Well, let's play it later on, but it doesn't matter. You're going to um, use that attack, okay. So, so then, what about the move and one? They are supply. Uh, no, they are supplied via Jordan. Okay. And we go to movement, which there is none because uh, where would I want to go with those? Uh, so offensives. I don't want to fight you here. So you just I mean, I could, I could just waste them to, to run to Homs and be able to see to cut you off. But I mean, then I've basically lost completely. So, um, so I will not use that for the rebels. They lose their stuff, and then we have two offensives by ISIS, which will attack Palmyra. And attempt to destroy all the temples there. Uh -huh. Oof. Oops. Okay. There's a Republican. And they have two, three, four, eight offensive. Against two, eight, 14 total. So you're at negative. 40. That's the beauty of having the real. Weak one on top. There's a little bit of fog of war there, um, mm -hmm. but this is a good card right there. As far as 
during an offensive, consider any AR as an EX and any EX as an EX star. So this is a great card, a la Akbar. Um, okay. Oh, let's see how that plays out. Um, so there is no intrinsic modifier here. Yeah, Do you have so. any card you want to play? I will play. Let's look at what I got. Yeah, I can't use that one. Oh, I can use combat engineers. That'll give me two two column shifts. Yeah, there's there's only one shift left, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might as well. Use it still. Sure. But still, your AR is going to end up being an EX anyway. So just roll yeah. it. Unfortunately, you do still have to go through with it. So a four comes out as an e an AR, so that turns into an EX. Both the attacker and the defender lose one step. Um, so I'll just take out that the, this guy right here. Um, technically, you can continue your attack with your op op ops. Yeah, I have one left, so why not? Does, um, this, does this get expended? Uh, during an offensive, I believe battle. so. Current battle, yes, it does. I think it's expanded, yeah. But they Anyways. could continue. I mean, you could continue yeah. the attack if you wanted. We will do that. How much? I mean, we had the maximum. If it was, if it was your own units, you probably wouldn't, but it, yeah. you're expending ISIS, so go for Six, it. I guess. Seven, seven against 12. Six. Do you want to play a card? Uh, I don't think I have anything left. This guy was already expended. Okay. I will roll then. <laughs> you have one, which is an AR with. Severe losses. All units of the attacking force lose one step and withdraw. Okay, they are all dead. That's correct. They just, that was the uh, result. Um, what I'm going to suggest here <laughs> is that uh, we, I will call for a ceasefire <laughs> to make this a little less uh, gruesome for you. Because um, I don't think you have any. You don't have a reinforcements card. I have one. Yeah. Um, you can just, uh, in your next turn, stomp this, and then you have one. Yep. Yeah, I will basically call for a ceasefire to make it more of a tie than a, than a, than a <laughs> humiliation. Tab. Well, um, that's all right. It was a learning game, so. That was that's... A, I, that's a, it's, it's just a really good game. Um, mm -hmm. I, I look forward to trying it with a full player list with the mm -hmm. full game the full yep. game is the scenario 11 and that has saudi arabia iran turkey syria israel and russia all in and then and mm -hmm. you also have the possibility of u.s intervention so yeah the only thing that we didn't get really to see let's go over for a second is the international tension track let's take a look mm -hmm. here um <clears throat> pretty much once you get once once this goes up to five then you add in the high tension cards, which are very powerful. Um, let's see other things. Um, other things that affect it are the first time Russia attacks on the, if you look on the combat, the, the cheat sheet, it'll tell you all these things. I'll just grab a couple more of these. First time Israel units capture Beirut. First time Israel units capture Damascus, it goes up. Just, just it's, you know, the things that make sense. Uh, first time Turkish units capture Aleppo. Oh, there are a few other things too. Um, once this finally gets up to 10, that's when the big boys come out, US and Russia, and then it gets nasty. But uh, at that point, that's almost like that's almost like the Armageddon mode. Um, well, speaking of, they can't attack each other. Like, US cannot directly attack each other unless... Mm -hmm. I think they can't directly attack each other. I think Israel can't attack... There are certain rules about, like, Israel attacking Russia, too. They can only attack Russia within the boundaries of Syria and stuff like that. So there's some really cool historical... Uh, realistic uh, uh, sub rules in there too. Great game. Um, yeah, I would absolutely play it again. I have the physical copy. I plan on playing it next month, so I'll probably take some photos of us doing that. Um, 
Uh, at some point, I'll convince us to, uh, and I'll try to include you in it, uh, and, uh, try to get the scenario 11 going at some point. I got, there's a couple folks in the Georgetown that I also need to finish up a match with, but mm -hmm. we'll at least get, we can at least get two players out of that. And, uh, I'm sure I can try to find some other folks that we just need two more people beyond that to have the six players. So yeah, All that'd right. be great. That was great. And that's, that's a wrap everybody. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.